And what is up guys, it is so Canadian Gamer and we are back today guys with another Epic Spin Terrors mod review and today guys we're going to be taking a look at the 1977 International Scout 2 that I got over at ov.co.uk and the link is down below in the description for the truck and the map which we're playing on is Blackwater High Desert as well as our testing platform and oh my god guys I am so excited to do this. I know I haven't done a Spin Terrors mod review in about a month, I'm still kind of in the process of moving guys. Um, but I'm going to try and come up with some videos as much as I can in the future. It's not going to be a video every day, but I'm going to try and keep up with it and at least do maybe three or four videos a week. Um, to, to start this off, I'm the biggest fan of the International Scout. I've picked the yellow skin, which is not the default color, but my uncle had a yellow International Scout when I was a kid. I'm not sure which year it was. I don't know if it was in 1977, uh, but it was yellow. So I figured, oh my God, I got to go with the yellow one. As well as they stopped making this truck in like 1980, which is kind of unfortunate because this thing is amazing. Um, and so far, I mean, the logs of death are nothing for the International Scout. I'm really hoping this truck does amazing because, like I said, I'm a huge fan of this. And I've probably been waiting for this truck to come out since I've started playing spin tires, um, which was a couple years ago. And, oh, oh, we're getting a little bit bogged down here. We are in low gear, though, so we should be able to crawl ourselves out of that situation no problem a little bit of a stutter there i don't know for some reason on this map that game mode the game mode stutters a little bit there i think it's loading in all the textures and such even though it's on an ssd i don't know why it's spin tires uh but i have planned out a little bit of a route for this truck and i don't know why i went running into high gear i'm a little bit rusty so bear with me guys um but yeah i really hope this truck does well i'm really excited that sid has released this truck because i feel like it needs uh it needs a good mod author to do it justice again i've been waiting for this thing to come out for a long time i think i seen an international scout way back in the day um but it like it looked like a piece of crap honestly i don't even think i downloaded it because i was like oh my god this is just a disgrace to the international scout um i mean if you get your hands on one of these in real life and even restore one or even do a resto mod of one I mean, you would have yourself a hell of a truck and you would get thumbs up everywhere you go. Um, I know I've seen them in real life and I would give a thumbs up because these things are so awesome and they are extremely rare. Like I said, they stopped making them in 1980, um, but they were a multi-purpose vehicle and I don't think they used them in the military or anything like that. If they did in different countries, guys, let me know down below in the comments any, any scout information. If there's a scout guru watching, and you know a lot. Give me some information on them. I Like I said, I'm a huge fan of these. Um, I don't see them too often when I do see them. Um, I mean, I mean they're, they're usually original and they're probably worth a lot of money. Um, maybe there's kit cars out there you can get of these. I haven't really looked into that. That'd be cool, though, to have a kit car on one of these and even just do like a resto mod. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, the truck doesn't come with any kind of add-ons or any extra fuel. Um, or repair points or trailers or anything like that which is kind of unfortunate because I feel like this truck um, really serves as a good scouting vehicle and so far it seems to pretty much be soaking everything we're throwing at it um, this is some pretty tough terrain if you're I mean if you guys think that these trucks um, aren't that good I mean take a, a default UAZ and try and go through this terrain and you will very quickly find out that these trucks are actually monsters um, this truck, however, is very realistic feeling right off the bat. I love the transmission. It doesn't feel overpowered. It feels realistic. And that's one thing I've always, always envied about the SID mods and stuff that he puts out is it always feels very authentic. It feels realistic. And it doesn't all feel the same. Too many trucks I drive all feel the same. They all have the same power, the same suspension animation, the same add-ons. It really just feels like you're driving trucks with different bodies and I mean that's not why I download these mods I download these mods and these trucks to compare um, I want to see what's better and that's why I make these videos so you guys can see them and that's why I pretty much make every single video on Blackwater High Desert and take eh, relatively the same route every time is so you guys can see how much how much different they are from each other and we're in high gear right now and this thing is a beast in high gear so far we have installed it out uh, I feel like high gear, uh, high gear could be, could be an advantage. I wasn't really liking automatic gear too much. Automatic gear, I couldn't really decide what speed it was going at. 
Then again, that could be a gear that you'd want to use on Blackwater Raceway as a high speed gear. Um, there isn't too much open terrain that we can really test it on, on this map. Um, wow, we were still in automatic and I didn't stall it. I came to a complete stop and just gave it a little tap on the throttle and just continued on our way. That's really impressive. Not sure how he did the gearing on that. I mean, I, I've tweaked around with XML files as well and tried to get that gearing right. And it's hard to make something that can go from a standstill and just in high gear and then go right to just driving. Um, you definitely need to have variable throttle control. So if you're playing with WASD, good luck to you, sir. We are going to hit up this mud, though. This is really deep mud up in this area. And no problem. No problem whatsoever for the scout. I am so excited that this truck is doing this well in this environment because I love this thing. We are taking some damage. But not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. That's a very real... I would say that's a very realistic dangerous water level. Clearly, if we had something like a snorkel on there or we had some scuba diving gear, we could probably go a little bit deeper and not risk damaging. But, eh. Who wants to put a snorkel on this amazing looking truck and ruin the look of it? Wow, look at that. We are spinning rocks out of the way. So much power. Not sure how much power the Scout had. I, I know there was a V8 version of it. And it probably ranged anywhere from around eh, 200 to 300 horsepower. If you guys know exactly the amount, let me know down below in the comments. Would appreciate it. Let's go. Let's go across this river. Why not? Come on, scout. Harvest that terrain. Oh, wow. That thing is amazing. Hardly taking any damage. We only took 54 damage. And I went head on into the bank. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure how he did the damage levels on, on the truck. Or the, I guess he called the bounding box or the hitbox. That sounds like an FPS. The hitbox of the truck. It was a headshot on the truck. Um, but that that's actually really, really cool. Too many of these trucks I drive, they're a lot of fun. But they take so much damage. I mean, like, what's the point? We are getting a little bit stuck here. I think we're hung up on a rock, possibly. And nope, just clawing for grip. And look at how awesome that thing looks. Man, it reminds me so much of the Bronco. I'm a big fan of the Bronco, too. If uh, if any of you mod authors are watching this video, if you guys could release um, an updated version of the Bronco, I mean, oh, I'd love you forever. I love the Bronco, especially like the 70s Broncos. Oh, man. They just have that look, you know? Um, hmm. We are a little bit stuck here. Power! Gives a good opportunity. Let's test out that uh, that interior view. Oh yeah, love that interior view. It's so detailed, so detailed. I mean, you can read the speedometer. We can see how much fuel we have. We can see the temperature of the oil. I mean, we can even see the, the gears uh, or the shifter knob and it looks all authentic. I've seen the inside of one of these trucks in real life and this actually looks pretty damn on point. I can tell a lot of work went into this. Not sure if SID did the complete 3D model. I believe there's a few mod authors that were on board with this. And like I said, I've been waiting for this thing for for an ice age. I mean, it is so awesome to be playing this right now. And I'm just super excited. I, I would So far, I would recommend this 10 out of 10. Definitely download this. Give it a try. So far, I'm having an absolute ton of fun. We are going to do some more testing with it. I got a couple other sections to bring this puppy through. And we'll hit up this mud once again. And it, I don't, I haven't seen, like, look how fast we're going through this mud. That is pretty impressive. Taking a little bit more damage, but really not an issue. I mean, 131 out of 600 damage. And we're carelessly driving this into cliffs and over rocks. And not really, I'm not really paying attention too much to what I'm doing. And it's just, it's very, very forgiving. Still in high gear, mind you. Haven't switched out of high gear. I don't think. Am I in high gear? What gear am I in? I don't even know. Oh, I'm in automatic. Oh, so was, was I in high gear the whole time back there in the rocks? Mmm. Epic fail, guys. I think I was in, I think I was in automatic the whole time. But nevertheless, um, maybe I, I'm going to take back what I said before. Because before I was complaining, nitpicking, saying that high gear wasn't really that good. And it couldn't pick a speed. But, I mean, we just... We just went over all of that terrain with no issues at all in, in, in automatic. I'm going to test out that low gear. Get some precision going here. And this thing just looks so awesome. And it is... Oh, I just seen a flash of lightning. I hope the power doesn't go out. 
It is raining. Hopefully you guys can't hear that in the background. I must I gotta apologize if the audio sounds different as well. There's nothing in this room. And wow, I don't know, you guys could probably hear that thunder. Um, <laughs> I might have to end, I might have to quickly do this video. Yeah, damn, I hope the power doesn't go out. That would suck. But uh, yeah, there's nothing to really uh, muffle or not muffle, I guess, stop the sound in this, in this room. Like there's no furniture or pictures. It's just an empty room. So, I mean, if there's an echo, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to try and take that out in post-process. Uh, you got to love those epic spin tires lighting effects. If there is thunder, guys, I'm just going to stop talking um, just because it, it, it's easier to edit out in the uh, when I do post-process. Holy crap, stuttering Nancy right there. Um, but I might just randomly stop talking. So if I do, that is the reason why. I'm really loving this low gear. It's nice and slow, but tons of traction. Tons of traction. You got to love, again, that suspension animation in every single SID truck, as well as Brew Terror. Always has some really impressive suspension animation. And the interior looks so detailed. So detailed. It'd be cool to see... Um, like an add-on to put a person. I, I actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back. I think I've seen that before, where you can you can add that on. It adds repair points. I'm gonna go back in a high gear. Get some speed going, as I would say. Oh God! Now we're doing some damage. Oh wow! I totally. D I'm so sorry, International Scout. I wrecked the back of it. Oh, that sexy back half of the truck is destroyed now. Good damage modeling, though. Oh, man. And clawing away for grip. I really would like to see some different tire options. I mean, I don't like to nitpick on any mod, especially this, because I'm going to be honest, this thing could have been terrible, and I probably would have still said, eh, it's good. I'm a little bit biased like that um, when it comes to something that I love so much, which is one of these trucks. But uh, I would like to see some different tire options for the truck. I, I, that'd be cool to see. Now, obviously, you can add in your own tires. That's pretty easy to do. If you guys don't know, there's tons of tutorials out there on the YouTubes on how to do that. Are we? What is going on here? Turn. Turn. Of course, I do have the diff lock and all wheels on, and I was cruising around in automatic. Keep in mind, guys, if you play in hardcore, you cannot do that. I got a, I got a couple messages from people asking... Um, how are you able to be, how are you in automatic and you have diff lock and all wheels and you're cruising along, getting speed, um, and it's because I'm in casual mode, so. Answer to your question right there. And I really wish these trees would just get out of the way. Let me zoom in a little bit, there we go. There we go, maybe we get a front view. Oh, because the, the front isn't mucked up at all. I, t I destroyed the back half, but the front is oh so sexy still. And I want to throw it back into high gear because high gear was amazing. High gear has serious potential. There we go. There we go. Now I just got to make sure I don't wreck it. Again, we've only taken 132 damage or 134, my bad, <laughs> out of 600 damage, which is really impressive considering how blatantly I'm just crashing it into things and not really picking my lines and I'm not being strategic at all I'm just driving it through here and hitting whatever and I'm not really taking that much damage and if there's a little trick to that I mean it'd be cool to see that in every mod because this feels very realistic still in high gear have installed it oh god that oh god oh yeah that mm, yeah that's 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 the end of it that is the end of it is it completely stalled I can't winch Mmm, damn, I wish we could winch, but that, that, uh, wow, what am I doing? Okay, what am I doing? I want to show you guys the winch points. I can't because I'm turned over. What we will do, though, is we're going to go back, reset here before my power goes out, uh, and we're going to go through the barrels of death. We haven't gone through the barrels of death that much in some of my other reviews. I don't know, it feels like it's been so long since I've made a spin tires video, uh, but we're going to hit up these barrels of death. And see how we get it on here. Uh, let's start off in automatic. In auto, there we come on. You can do it. You can do it. Automatic, go forward. Why are we not? Come on, game. There we go. 
frustration of spin tires. Sometimes it just does not do what you want it to do. I'm in high gear right now, though. And barrels of death. Nothing. It is nothing for the scout at all. I was hoping we didn't fail right there because being such a fanboy of the scout, I mean, I really don't... Wow, I destroyed the back half already. Damn it. Almost stalled it there. This thing has so much torque. It has so much power. It really is impressive. Um, it feels realistic. Like, it doesn't feel overpowered. It doesn't feel bouncy or tippy. Um, I've driven a Scout in real life. Um, not through off-road terrain, like on the road. But I have driven one. And, I mean, this kind of it kind of feels like a Scout. So, I mean, that this is really, really cool. I would recommend this to any of you guys who just want something to even scout around on maps with. I mean, this thing is just so cool. Oh, geez. Wow, we almost launched it over that hill. We're going to hit up some of this water. We already know it's a monster in the mud, so we should have no issues going through any of this. We'll hang it up on a rock, and we still get through. We still get through. I'm going to have to throw it into low gear up in this section, though, because it gets quite crazy up here. Mm. Actually, you know what? Can I get away with just doing high gear? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, nope. Can't do it. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Throw it back into low gear. And I love low gear. It's got a good a good variation of different gears. You got your low gear, which is that crawling gear, which has already proved to be a beast. You got the high gear to bring you through any mud in the game. Um, or rocks or really any kind of terrain. And then you got automatic if you want to get some speed going and flat open. So, I mean, it's just an all-around good truck. And it's not tippy. It's not bouncy. Um, it doesn't take a lot of damage. It's got 600 damage points, which is pretty average for a spin tires truck. It seems to be pretty fuel efficient. I mean, we're only using 3 liters of fuel, mind you. We are in casual. If we were in hardcore, we'd be using more fuel. But we do have 300 liters, so I mean, it, it's an all-around good truck. My Again, my only gripe with this truck, if I'm going to have one complaint, I like to come up with two complaints. I'm only going to come up with one because I can't really find anything else wrong with the truck. Uh, it's just different add-ons I'd like to see. Some different tires, um, possibly an add-on to give you some fuel, some repair points to really bring this truck to the next level so you can fully use it in spin tires. I know I say this a lot in a lot of, in a, a lot in a lot of my videos, <laughs> um, but this is my new favorite truck and I'm going to play a ton with this off camera and really, really get into the nitty gritty of what it can do and can't do. Um, so far I would recommend it though and I mean it's got a ton of detail as always SID mods are amazing and again guys if you'd like to download the truck or the map down below in the description is the links for all of that goodness and the credits to the authors um, I'm going to end the video here guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video and watched all the way through as always if you like the video in any way shape or form hit that like button also hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me thank you so much for watching guys it's been good peace